So I've recently learned how to make a, like, dog running cycle, and I wanted to make a tutorial on it, so here we go. So I want to point out a few things about how this is running before we get into, like, the general build of it, because I, I do want you to understand why it works alternatively to just placing some blocks down and it working. So first off, you'll see that all four of the legs actually make a step. I'm stuck on this little cliff here for a second, but all four of the legs have their own individual step that is timed differently, meaning that each one actually contributes to the walking, and it's not really just a two-legged walker strapped to a two-legged walker. So I've got gone ahead and, like, taken out the logic from this, and... Right here we have the general walk cycle, and then here we have extra things we'll try, I will explain later. Uh, these two are for a tail wag, this one's just for sitting, and then this one is to turn off all the nor gates, but I'll get into, into that in a second. Well, if I, if I start running here, you can kind of see that it goes in a cycle, and here I'll, I'll go ahead and label these real quick. And to do that, I'm just going to wire up each one of these gates into a hue light panel for easier explanation and for easier visuals. But we can hook up this into that, and this into that, and this into that, and this into that. So then if we go around, there's one corresponding for each, and now I'm going to label these. Okay, so now that I have those labeled, I can show you that the cycle kind of goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that is to extend the legs. That is what is moving the legs forwards, I'm, I think. Yeah. So each one of those is what moves the legs forwards, however... The nor gates under them are directly triggered by them, meaning that this is triggered into this, uh, this is triggered into this, this is triggered into this, and this is triggered into this. And what that will do will it will make them like gray when it's not actively being triggered. And there's a little bit of overlap where, where the hue panels get confused and combine the values. But basically, the gray is the extension backwards, so whenever that is gray, the legs are moving backwards. And what that means is, as you can see there, the little green arrow on the nor gate, on the back nor gate, is triggering all of the first green arrows on those nor gates until I turn it off, then those are triggered by the OR gates on top. So let's get into some of the timing of it. So this is the first one, it's the one labeled 1, and it has a delay of 0, and all four of these have a duration and pause of 0 0.5. Now this one's the second one, it has a delay of 0 0.13, uh, I think it's technically 0 0.135, but it's half of 25, which is half of the total duration. And that makes sense. And the next one's going to be a little bit trickier, but it would normally go 0, 0 0.135, uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.385, etc. And then it would just like loop back around, and we're dividing 50 by 4. However, I like to have the front two paws go a little bit later, so it's not just 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's just like 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that way we get this nice little, like, when the front legs land, it's right when it's about to hit the ground, which is really nice. So the delay that I have on that is increased. We have 0 0.6 on this and 0 0.72 on this one. And what that looks like is that delay that I was talking about, where it's not quite 1, 2, like, it's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, but it is further delayed for just a little bit finer tuning, and you might want to change that timing and how much that's delayed by based on the, the size of the build that you make and how fast it's moving and etc. Et et just any, any trait of that that you would want to. 
I'm going to put these gates over here because we just already know what they do. We also know what this Nor gate does. It's the, like, W1 that turns off all of these if I'm not pressing W. We can also just go ahead and put that over here, which leaves this one. Now, this one's a little bit more complicated, and it relates to why we have these servos right here. Now, if I, if I can get you to watch those servos real quick right there, it's kind of lifting up the front half of the body when the front legs are moving forward so that they don't hit against the ground and so that the back legs can like accurately push against the ground. And very similarly, it's actually moving down further when the front legs are moving so that the back legs don't like hit the ground as much. And this is how like a real dog would work and I viewed like animations and skeletons of dogs when making this to decide to make the back flexible like this, but not only flexible, but programmable. What I have this doing right now is at the start of the front leg cycle, which is these two gates, um, this one, right here, is triggering directly into these two rotating servos. And it's also triggering into... Well, it's also being triggered by that. And then this one is... Where is the gate? Where did that gate go? It, it, I just had it. So I accidentally deleted that gate, but this one is triggered into this gate, which makes it a little bit dampened, so it's not quite as sheer of an angle as one would be. And then this gate triggers directly into those on a positive output, while this is a negative output. So what that does is, when it's taking the first step, um, it rotates this to bend, and when it's on the negative, it is rotating inwards, causing the pause to go further down. I'd also like to note that these are fairly low strength. They're only like 45 strength, and that adds to a lot of the stability and like flexibility that makes this run smoother. In fact, a lot of the gates are tuned to different strengths. So this, these ones are at 50, uh, these ones are also at 50, 50, and then over here we have still 50, and then we have 40 for these two, and another 40 for these two. And what that does is it just makes it like generally smoother and makes it take more of an impact than it would prior. Another thing I should mention about the, like, walk cycle is that these are triggered by the step forwards. So this go this bends in when it's moving up so that it doesn't hit the ground. So this will bend in, and then it'll all move up, and then it'll bend out, and then it'll all move down. And then it, you get this kind of, like, motion where you can touch the ground when going down and back, but not when going forwards, which is what causes you to walk forwards instead of backwards. The same is true about the back legs, however, they have a, another joint aiding them. And the bottom joint on these front legs is meant to aid in the, like, the push off the ground. So, like, those will extend down a little bit, and these are fairly low strength as well. They're mostly meant for shock absorption, but they do help a little bit, and they bend inwards just slightly when they're hitting the ground, causing it to really, like, push off just a little bit more. I built a bit of an exaggerated example right here, but as you can see, it's the same general timing, and if I, if I move these back together, then you can kind of see what happens here. What happens here? Here, I'm just gonna move these like that. So you can see it's basically the same one, two, three, four cycle. It's its delays are a little bit different. This one is the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, not the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. They, they don't have as much of a delay between, but this is like a very color-coded leg system, and it's not a very tuned one either. 
and like the the larger one is much more tuned and the ankles are better and this one it's hinges so to get the speed that i wanted out of it i needed to have the angle high but anyways this is the basic mechanical system for it and as you can see down here on the seat we have the same nor logic gate running into all of the nor gates right there yep and with all of that combined, you can get a really smooth motion out of it if you tune it properly, and some of the tuning is just, oh hey, what happens if I make this a little bit faster, or what happens if I make this a little bit weaker or stronger, or see what happens when I do this. But in general, that's just kind of how you make a four-legged walker like this. I, I do hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, as always, because... Well, some of the stuff needs further explanation. And I hope you enjoyed. See ya!